Hi, welcome to this new next uh, tutorial using uh, Photoshop CS3. And what we're going to look at using is, is creating different layers for different parts of the car. And this will enable us to, to manipulate the, the different sections of the car. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, all around the, the actual body of the car and not the wheels itself. So I'm going to go to the quick selection tool and I'm just going to start to go through and try and select the main aspects of the body of the car so that's not including the wheels um, the ground itself so as we, we, we notice here there's a, a couple of parts where I'm going to, to have to zoom in just to, to clear it up a bit and I'll, I'll just get through as best as I can before I'm going to need to zoom in okay so what I'll do is I'll zoom in and if we look up here in the roof here I haven't done as well as I probably could have I'll just fix that up and here I've gone too far so I'm going to reduce the size of my brush to about Ten, and I'm going to put on the minus so I can start to come backwards here. Oh, gone too far again. Okay, I'll put it on the plus. Now what's probably happened is my brush is still too big, so I'll go down to about a five. That should work pretty close and perfect. One more. Plus it one more time. There we go. That should that should be okay. It shouldn't be too bad. I'll come down here, and I've still got some sections there that I'm going to need to to clear up a bit. There we go. So I'm starting to to really clear it up, and that's this is why this this quick selection tool is the best tool for actually making selections. So I'll fix there up there. Come down to the wheel itself. Now, as you can see, I've gone too far there, so I'll get the minus, and I'll go back in around the wheel arch. There, I've done that. Back on the plus. And I'll come down all the way down to there. And what we'll find is, oh, went too far again. There we go, that will come back out. And I'm pretty, let's say I'm pretty good, actually good enough. So I'll zoom back out to my car, and there you can see that I've actually selected the body of the car. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a new layer. Go back to the back there and layer. I'll copy that. And in layer two, I'm going to paste what I just copied. I'll paste that and as you'll see, layer one here will, will show the car itself. The other thing that I want to actually do is I want to select the wheels and the ground. So if I go back to the quick selection tool again, I increase the diameter of my brush to about 30 and I come through here and so I gotta make sure I've got my background selected. So I do it on my background. So I come through here and I'll what I'll do is I'll start to select around the car parts that I hadn't selected before, like around the wheels, and there we go. So there's the my next selection. It's the same as before, create a new layer, which is layer two, go back to my background, I copy it, and I go to layer two, and I paste it, and so that therefore gets pasted in. Now I have my two layers, layer one and layer two. One of the things, if I click on the move here, is that I'm able to do is I'm able to start, I could lower the car if I wanted to, 
I can move it around. I can do anything that I want with that, that body of that car. Now, one of the things you'll notice is there's a lot, there's still the original car there. And all I have to do is click off my background and automatically there I'm able to work around my layer there. So I can actually totally, if I wanted to, remove the whole body of the car. Or I can come back down and there we go, I start to actually lower my car. So it's a so it's a lowered car. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.